With the B2 Capital G here looking at a brand new Link Monster coming out in Circuit Break. And this is really interesting because not only are we getting a new archetype revealed, which I am assuming is going to be released alongside of this and Circuit Break as well, but this could be the start of something even bigger than that. This is me speculating at this point, but I'll talk about that after I discuss the card. So this is X Crawler um, Quali Arc, and uh, it's an Earth Insect. I'm just going to go out on a whim i'm gonna say the entire archetype is probably going to be earth and insect it's called the uh, crawler archetype looks like the cursors point bottom left and bottom right which i kind of like out of a link to 2000 attack which at this point seems like it is par for the course if you looked at like trickstar holy angel or uh, trickstar sweet devil they both have 2000 attack so 2000 attack seems to be pretty decent for a link to monster and uh, you make this with two crawler monsters let's go ahead and look at the effect Effect. The first effect is apply these effects depending on the number of crawler monsters you control. Keep in mind, it actually does count itself because it is a crawler monster. It says two or more monsters. Uh, monsters you control gain 300 attack and defense, so that's pretty decent. It's like a lot of those field spells that they printed um, during the Art V era. If you have four or more crawler monsters... Um, then let's see you get your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in the battle phase that's not bad i mean it's kind of like uh you get a permanent armadis or something like that and actually it would work when your opponent attacks as well so that's really good because they can't even use things like honest or alistair if they're trying to uh, run over your monsters and then if you can somehow get six or more crawler monsters on the field monsters you control can attack directly at that point i would assume you're just going to kill your opponent like if you have six monsters on the field and all of them can attack directly H how are you not winning the game if your opponent can't use mirror force they can't use anything in the battle phase to defend them there should be zero chance that you actually lose the game at that point <laughs> they can't battle fader they can't do any battle phase tricks at all you just instantly <laughs> win the game so i'm gonna assume that if you get six crawler monsters face up on the field including the quality arc uh, you're probably just gonna win the game at that point unless they uh make it so you don't get into the battle phase and the face up uh the, excuse me the second effect i I think it's really good as well i think it's actually probably the most practical of all these effects it says if this face-up card leaves the field by an opponent's uh card effect or is destroyed by battle you can target two crawler monsters with different names in your graveyard special them and face down defense position now that is interesting because it makes me wonder if maybe the crawler archetype is going to be something like sub terrors or if it's going to be like a shadows where they're just like straight up flip effects because why would konami want you to summon monsters back in face down defense position it's very rare especially multiple monsters it makes me think that this could be another archetype that revolves around flipping monsters face up and you know putting them back face down or just a bunch of flip effects and stuff like that so you know i can't really talk about how good i think this card is until we know a little more about the archetype but Here's the very interesting thing about this, right? So if you guys read the flavor text on the Stargrill archetype, they actually seem to be linked to the crawler monsters. So this is uh, Stargrill's beckon. And if you look at his flavor text, it says, a young man who spends all of his time fighting monstrosities, even when the crawlers living around the forest suddenly went on a rampage, he stood his ground and prevented them from breaching the barrier. Now, obviously, when it says the crawlers, he's talking about these guys. He's talking about this new archetype, which, by the way, the art on this card looks pretty cool. It actually reminds me of something from like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel or something from like the Zexel era, but I think it's really interesting that these two archetypes have some type of connection, and what I'm thinking that this could be, I could be seriously reaching, you guys let me know in the comments, could this be the start of the Dual Terminal 4? I say that because it's very rare in Yu-Gi-Oh! for archetypes to actually interact with each other or for them to even be mentioned uh, with each other unless it's like dual terminal. If you look at like the anime archetypes, they have no connections or anything other than, you know, duelists dueling on like the TV show and stuff like that. It's very rare that archetypes will actually intertwine in their stories. I mean, it happens, you know, sometimes, but I know somebody's going to say something in the comment section. They're going to list an example. My point is it doesn't happen very often except the dual terminal storylines where you get like, you know, five, six, seven archetypes and they're all kind of colliding and we all know that dual term 
Terminal 3 obviously just wrapped up. So if Konami was going to start a Dual Terminal 4 storyline, it probably should start in about Code of the Duelist at the least. It should start in Circuit Break. So maybe these Star Grills are like the heroes of Dual Terminal 4 and, you know, their storyline interconnects with the, uh, the Crawler Monsters. It just, I don't know, man. It seems like it definitely could be a possibility. I guess we'll have to wait for other archetypes to come out and see if some of their stories intertwine and wait for some of their spell cards and stuff like that. But I definitely think that it is a possibility. So whatever you guys think, let me know. Do you guys think that this is the start possibly of the Dual Terminal storyline, uh, the Dual Terminal 4, or do you think that it's just a smaller event like, you know, how Amorphages are connected to like True Dracos and stuff like that? Like I know they have a little storyline, but usually archetypes don't connect in any way. Anyways, whatever you guys think, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already.